are here in my kitchen. We are going to be making some banana nut bread in my mini loaf pans. And all we need is some salt, some baking soda, some really overripe bananas. That's always helpful. Some, <clears throat> don't need that. Some flour, don't need that. Some, this is imitation vanilla, not my favorite, but at, right now that's all I got. And some sugar, and where is it? It's hiding, hold on. Egg, my egg. And those are just the ingredients that you need, and we will be using the KitchenAid today. One more thing, our pecans. Totally forgot them, that's the nut part. <laughs> We have our mashed bananas right here. We have um, one egg. I have my one and a half cups of flour, my one teaspoon of baking soda, three fourths cups of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, one third cup of melted butter. I also put a pinch of salt in with the flour. I forgot to tell you that. Just a little pinch of salt right on in there. And the KitchenAid. So here is my bananas. We're gonna mash it a little bit more because really all I did was just kind of cut it and stick it in a bowl. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let my, my KitchenAid do that job for me. And add your melted butter. I've got a little bit more butter in here so let me go ahead and add that in here because we need all the butter we can get. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and add the baking soda and the sugar. Now, I'm, I'm not a baker, and I'm probably adding all these ingredients the wrong way for some of you that are baking, like a true baker. But for banana bread, I think it's, I'm, I do not worry about how the ingredients go in as much as other things. So now it's kind of looking like that cream corn consistency. Now there's my egg, and again, I didn't whip it before hand. I figured, hey, it'll mix all together. It'll be fine. See, it's all mixed. It's looking good. There's the vanilla. And here comes the flour. Let me try to get it in here without it spilling everywhere. Success! So after you add the flour, you just mix. Now I've spent, you know what, I don't know how much this is, maybe a cup, I think. I've been, I've been breaking them into little pieces. So uh, I think it's a cup of nuts or pecans or walnuts, whichever you want. You just mix them around until they're pretty well incorporated into this batter. And then all we're gonna do is put it in the pan. Batter's done. Now prepare the pans. And um, these are the Gold Touch Mini Loaf Pans. Absolutely love them. We're gonna be cooking it in the Breville at 350 for 45 minutes. It's supposed to be like an hour but these are so small. I think 45 minutes is perfect. So here is our banana nut bread that came out of the oven. We're testing it now, it's perfect. It smells so good. So I just wanna um, show you how easy it is to, to get these, these lovely little banana nut breads out of this lo little mini loaf pan. Usually you have to 
take your knife and cut it around and loosen it, but you don't even have to do that with these guys. It's such a great little, um, little pan. You just turn it over and tap a little and there, there you got it. How easy is that? And look at it. It's just great. It just smells so good. Oh my gosh. Let me go get a cutting board so I can cut this. So here it is. I'm going to show you what it looks like. All those gorgeous pecans. Or as my husband says, pecans. I'm from the south. We say pecans. <laughs> and there it is. Looks good. Smells good. Going to cut another piece. Uh-oh, got a visitor. <laughs> well, that is our banana bread, folks. <laughs> Be safe out there.